Okay, so let's begin. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Good evening. Welcome to this English class here on Zoom. It's nice to have you one more time. Thank you so much for joining. Let's see what do we have for today. Pretty much it's going to be something easy. We're working with section number three, as you may know. Uh, this is the section we're going to work today. Uh, and we're going to have modal verbs, would and will for requests. Yesterday, we were working a little bit on this one. So we're going to get deep a little bit more on these uh, requests that we can do using would and will. Okay, so this is class number eight. So we are pretty much uh, like in the middle of this uh, module. Yes, which is module number three. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. And let's, let's see what's, what we're going to have today. So thank you so much for joining. I wish you the best at home. Be ready. And here we go. Class number eight. Model verse with would and will for requests. Uh, Ronald. Okay, Ronald, thank you so much. Welcome. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, okay, Ronald, thank you. I got you. So um, we're going to have this picture here. Let's begin with Edith. Hello, Edith, Carolina. Welcome. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Do me a favor. Look at the picture and describe the picture. Okay. And the picture uh, see a uh, three person and those co two consumers in one server. And where where are they? What is this picture? Where are they? This uh, server. Yeah, what is the name of the place, Edith? Oh, um, probably in restaurant. Exactly right, probably a restaurant. Very mm -hmm. good. How often do you go to a restaurant, Edith? Permitime un momento, mi amor. I'm sorry, teacher. That's okay. How often do you go to a restaurant? Oh. <laughs> One, one to week. Oh, once a week. Once uh -huh. a week. Once. Oh, yes. That's very good. Thank you so much. What about you, Daniela? How often do you go to a restaurant? Um, maybe twice a week, too. Oh, that's good. Thank you so much. Very good. Um, so yeah, this picture is about a restaurant, right? Uh, we're gonna have one more time the video from yesterday so we can remember a little bit of this grammar tool. Then we're gonna have a little bit of explanation and then practice on this one. Okay, so here we go. Let's listen and watch. Hello, teacher. Nice to have you back in class. Please take notes on wood and will. Try to understand how they are being used. After the explanation, we have some questions for you. Please answer them on our discussion box. Modal verbs would and will for requests. What would you like? I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like an iced tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Contractions. I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. We presented word and will in a conversation and then on a previous chart, but now let's work on them. 
using Word to make requests. Word is used when we make requests in English. It is a more polite way to make your requests to someone, especially when you're not familiar with. We can use Word directly at the beginning of the question. Word plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink tea? Or we can use it with a WH question word. WH question word plus would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, what would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this opportunity, we're using would to answer questions. What would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink. Or, I'd like a soft drink. Did you notice the position of would in the answer? That's right, it goes exactly after the subject. How to answer using would? Subject plus would plus like plus compliment. Now let's pretend we're in a restaurant and you are the waiter. This is my response. I want you to think on the question. I like apple pie. I like coffee. Now it's my turn to ask you. Please respond using would. What would you like to eat? What would you like to have? Ice cream or chocolate cake? Nice to have you. Yesterday we were like discussing a little bit of this one, right? How do we use would and will for requests? And um, based on this one, we're gonna identify what is the meaning of this two, right? Remember that this um context is in a restaurant. So that means that these questions or the requests are gonna be made in a restaurant. So when you go to a restaurant, and you order, let's say, food or drinks, you use these expressions, okay? When it comes requesting something in a restaurant, okay? Do me a favor, Claudia, and explain to us this information, please. What do you understand? Um... The use of good. Okay, we we use good to be more polite when we want to know if somebody wants uh, to get anything or to get information about the likes and dislikes of the people. You are in mute, teacher. Oh, thank you. Yes, somehow you're right. Yes, yes, yes. However, just remember that this thing is about context in uh, in a restaurant. Yes, context. Okay. Uh, this thing is about in a restaurant when you order food or drinks, right? Or mm -hmm. desserts, right? Sometimes you order desserts in a restaurant, so you can use this expression, aisle and wood. Very good. Thank you so much. Do you have a question at home about this thing? No? Okay, Maria Vilma. Hello, Maria Vilma. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Do you see here I have like and have? Do you think I can use have with would? Or I can have like with will. Okay. Oh, let's say, for example, what is the meaning of would like? When somebody says in a restaurant, I would like a BG burger, what is the meaning of it?
Like, for example, if you go to a restaurant, right, and you and somebody tells you, excuse me, what would you like to order? And you say, oh, I like three pupusas, please. So what are, what are you saying using would like? Mm, and for me? Yes, like the context. What is the context? Um, um, I went exactly right. So that means that you want that you want something, yeah, to eat or to drink. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay, thank you so much. Just don't forget this, like. Let's say um, a small characteristic that we have between these two. When I use I'll, I need to use have. That's the thing that follows, okay? Yes, I'll. Well, basically, that's the way we have it here. Yes, uh, maybe sometimes we can have I like. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but that's in another context. Here, we are working with uh, ordering food. So that means that's the way we have it. Okay. So you can say, I'd like, I'll have. Yes. When it comes ordering food. Let's take a look of some examples in here. Let me show you. Page 89. Here we have, use one or more words to complete uh, the sentence in here. Okay. Tell me, please. Uh, for example, server, may I tell you order? What is next? What's next here? May I take yes. you? Yes. Yes, I will have salmon. Oh, very good. Yes, I'll. Yes, I'll have salmon. Very good. Salmon. Very good. What about the other one, server? What kind of dressing would you like? Would you like? Okay. What kind of dressing? Um. In your salad, French, blue cheese, or okay. Let's take a look of the answer that's here. I like. Okay. So, would you like? That is correct. Perfect. Would you like? Would you like? Oh, yay. Right? Yes. What kind of dressing? What is a dressing, by the way? A kind of thought. Exactly, Adereso. right? Adereso. Hey, very good. Exactly right. In Spanish, it's just aderezo, right? Kind of sauce. Yes. Right. Here we have ranch, right? That's the one that they ask. Okay. Ranch. Okay. Very good. And what is the other answer that the customer give us here? I'd like it. <laughs> exactly. I'd, I'd like French, please. Then we have in what? Oh, I'm sorry. And would you like? Anything to drink? Anything? Something. An anything. Anything. <clears throat> Something. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes, something. And would you like something to drink? Yes. Yes, very good. I, yes, I'll have. Beautiful. Very good. I'll... Oh, yes, I'll have iced coffee with milk and sugar. Yes. 
Yes, please. Beautiful, exactly, right? You sure? Okay. Yes, please. Anything else? No. No, thanks. Okay, thanks. That'll be all. Very good. That'll be... Oh, very good. That'll be all. Beautiful, okay? We're going to have a server and a customer in here. Freddie, can you participate, Freddie? Okay, okay. Wonderful. You are the server. Anna, what is Anna? Mm -hmm. uh, Anna Cristina take... Peña de Paz. Anna, can you participate? Okay, teacher. You are the customer, Anna, okay? Okay. Thank you. May I take your order? Yes, I'll have the salmon. What kind of dressing would you like on your salad? French, blue cheese, or vinaigrette? I like French, please. And would you like something to drink? Yes, I have a how ice coffee with milk or or and sugar. <laughs> yes, please. Anything else? Uh, no, thanks. That is be all. Perfect. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Christian. Can you participate, Christian? Mm, yes, profe. Thank you. You are the server, Evers. Can you participate, Evers? Yes, teacher. Wonderful. You are the customer. Ready? Let's begin. Christian, please. You are the server. Practice, profe. Yes. <laughs> May I taste your other? Yes, I'll have the salmon. What kind of um, dressing would you like on your salad, French, blue, cheese, yes. or vinaigrette, vinaigrette? I'd like French, please. And would you like? Summer something. Summer, summer something. something to drink. Yes, I'll have iced coffee with milk and sugar. Yes, please. Any anything? Anything? No. Anything? Anything else? No thanks. That be all. Thank you so much. Very good, the two of you. Okay. okay, let's move on to the next exercise that we're going to have here. Give me a minute, please. Here we go. Okay, here we have some uh, responses already. Like, um, what would you like? I have a beef burrito. Yes. What about the next one? Number two. Would you like soup or salad? What is the correct answer? I like, I like soup, soup, please. Okay, very good. I'd like soup, please. I think we have a comma right here. Oh, yeah. What about the number three? What would you like on your pizza? I, have I will pepperoni. have pepperoni. Exactly. I'll have pe okay, pepperoni. Okay, very good. I think that one right. I'll have pepperoni. Number four, would you like anything to drink? No thanks. No thanks. Oh, no thanks. I don't have money, right? Oh, give me a minute. No, I think, no thanks. 
Very good. Number five, what flavor ice cream would you like? Vanilla, please. Oh, vanilla. Very good, like vanilla ice cream. <laughs> but yes. Uh, please, there is a comma. Please, oh, there's a period here. Okay. Peter, and you put an L. Oh, Jesus. An yeah. My my bad. Sorry about it. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Would you like anything else? Would you like anything else? That's that a things. Okay. Yeah, just the last one that was covering, right? That was covered by a, a little sting. Dial. Oh my. Wait. Jesus Christ. It's a comma. Thanks. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. We're going to have some. I need to hear some participation from you. From one of you, Jacqueline, Vanessa. Thank you. You need to read number one, number two, and number three, Jacqueline. And your partner, Cindy. Uh -huh. Hello, Cindy. Can you participate? Cindy, can you do it? No? Okay. Lilia Blanca, I'm sorry. Blanca Isolina Guzman. Can you participate, Blanca? Okay. Yes. Blanca, you need to read four, five, and six. Yep. Okay, Jacqueline, let me see Jacqueline. Yes. Okay, please, one, two, and three, go ahead. Okay. What would you like? I'd have a best burrito. Um, I'll be your server today. Yes, I like to. I'd have a beef burrito. Would you like soup or salad? I like soup, please. Uh, I guess I will. Thanks. Oh, excuse me, Jacqueline. I apologize for interrupting you. You just need to read like the question and then the correct answer. Just that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so number three, right? Yeah. Uh, what would you like on your pizza? I have pepperoni. Thank you. Just here, can you repeat the le the answer B here in number one, please? I'll have a best. I don't know best or beef. 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 Okay. I'll have a beef burrito. Beautiful. Do you like burritos, by the way? Yes, of course. Oh, delicious, but not nutritious. Okay, thank, thank you, you so much. Oh, I love them. Blanca, <laughs> next ones. Go ahead. Mm. Would well, you like anything to drink? No, thanks. What flow ice cream would flavor? you like? Flavor. What flavor ice cream would you like? Vanilla, please. Vanilla. Vanilla, please. Very good. Would you like anything else? Time. That uh, be all things. That'll be all. That'll be all. Be all. Exactly. Very good. Thank you so much, right? This is piece of cake. <laughs> A look at this one. Thank you. We have choose the correct option. In parentheses, we have some options. Greasy, healthy, spicy. So baked potatoes are less uh, greasy than French fries. Okay. What about number two? In restaurants, the server takes... Order. Your order. order. Exactly right. Your order. <laughs> oh, this one is good. We have table <laughs> service, okay. Number three, many people like dressing, soda. dressing, dressing, a dressing, exactly, right? What is the meaning of dressing? You tell me. 
a, a sauce. kind of sauce. A kind of sauce, like sometimes we have ranch and stuff like that. That's the only that we, we like, I guess, right? Ranch. Some people rarely cook with pieces. They prefer food to be Oh, this one is difficult, right? Be hot. 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 Okay. Spicy. Because it's at the beginning, it's some people rarely cook with spices. 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 Uh huh. They prefer food to be. Bland. <coughs> bland. Exactly. What it means bland. Oh, like um. Pretty much things that are like healthy somehow. Yeah. With not oh. too many ingredients. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Blood. Yes, that is correct, right? Teacher and spices. Oh well, spices are like like um this is things like for example, some people cook when they cook, for example, a fried chicken, right? They prepare some kind of spices that they put uh the chicken inside of it right and they like mix it right and they fry that chicken i don't know if you get it like a spicy like a bunch of ingredients uh like for example uh paprika exactly Pepper. exactly right uh garlic onion um the thick onion that goes in like already like i don't know how do you yeah. say that? Um, oh, I, I forgot in English and also in Spanish. Uh, uh, molido, right? Ajo molido, uh, onion as well. Yes, especies. Exactly. In Espanol. Exactly. Yeah, that is correct. So some people use like um, yeah, a lot of it. Some people rarely cook with the space, okay, to be blunt. Yeah. Uh, some of them love it and some of them like like we don't love them a lot. For example, if you have this thing, I washed it. Yeah, that thing is somehow <laughs> unique, right? It's delicious. Yeah, but but some people have don't love it. A strawberry is a popular ice cream. Flavor. Drink. Drink. Flavor. Flavor. Oh yes, it's gonna be. It's gonna Flavor. be. It's gonna be. Flavor teacher. Flavor. It's gonna be flavor, exactly. Flavor. Exactly, right? Thank you so much. We're gonna have some participation. Uh, Maria Vilma, please read all the sentences. Thank you so much. Okay. Baked potatoes are less greasy than French prince. See? Fries, French fries. French fries. In a restaurant, the server takes your order. Mm, many people like dressing on their salad. Some people rarely. No sé. Rarely. <laughs> Rarely cook with the space. They prefer food to be blend. Strawberry is a popular ice cream flavor. Okay. Flavor, flavor. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Very good. Okay. Thank you so much on this one. Oh, Jesus. Let me take the attendance really quick. When you hear your beautiful name, say presenter, I'm here. Okay. Thank you so much. Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Present Thank you so much and welcome. Blanca Isolina Guzman Cruz. I'm here. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Briseida Janet Garcia de Crespin. Thank you, Briseida. Good evening. Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez. Welcome and good evening. Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Christian David Gal Galicia Ramirez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, Christian. Welcome. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Resinos. I'm here. 
It's nice to have you. Evers Ernesto Perdomo Álvarez. Present teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Welcome. Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Present. Nice to have you and welcome. Freddy Alberto Paz Carrillo. Welcome, Freddy. Iliana Mariel Alvarado Menjiva. I think Iliana is here. I think I saw her. Let me double check that one really quick. Iliana, yes, she's here. Welcome, Iliana. Nice to have you. Janessi Alexandra Lopez Portillo. Present teacher. Welcome. Good yeah. evening. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present teacher. Good evening and welcome. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you, Jose. Uh, yes. Jose Mauricio Martinez Arabia. Present. Good evening and welcome. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno mm -hmm. Mercado. Hello, Jocelyn. Jocelyn Tatiana. Jose. Jocelyn, she isn't here. Oh, it's double S. No, she isn't. I don't know what happened to her because she's usually here. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez, welcome. Present teacher, good evening. Nice to have you. Kevin Eduardo Flores Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. Present teacher. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Luis Alberto Garlicia Gertrudis. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Nice to have you. Welcome. Uh, Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera. Good evening, teacher. Thank you so much, Marcos. It's nice to have you. Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Milena de Los Ángeles Aragón Pleites. Hello, Milena. Are you here? Let me check if Milena is here really quick. Milena. No, she isn't. Okay. Uh, Mirna del Carmen Ruano Reyes. I'm here, teacher. Nice to have you. Good evening. Ronald Rafael Cruz Amaya. Oh, Ronald, thank you so much. Welcome. It's nice to have you. I checked the chat already. I checked that. Uh, Sandra Noemi Pimentel Alvarez. I think Sandra is here, but she's just listening. No, no, she isn't. Okay. Um, Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. Present. Thank you so much and welcome, Tiffany and Jenny Elizabeth Tolosa. Welcome. Good evening. Present, It's nice to have you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just give me a minute. Jesus Christ. Okay. Here we go. Do me a favor, please. Uh, Juan Jose Garcia. Uh, look at the picture and describe it, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, I see in the picture uh, two, two girls in the kitchen um, a girl has um, a eggs in the hands um, it's all teacher sorry very good what is the name of this object one this object here. What is the name of this object? Fridge. Oh, it is, is a fridge. Very good. Or refrigerator. Or refrigerator. That is correct. We have a refrigerator. What is the name of this object here? Microwave. 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 Exactly. It's a microwave, right? Uh, what is the name of these objects here? Or here. Furnitures. Cabinets. 
cabinet. Pantry. 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 That's correct. Yes, very good. Uh, Juan, what is this girl wearing? What's she wearing, Juan? She wearing a t-shirt and pants. Thank you. What about this one? This woman here. What is she wearing? I I see she wearing t-shirt and 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 in in short pants. Okay. What kind of meal are they having? One. Excuse me, teacher. Sorry. What kind of meal are they having? What kind of meal are they having? Breakfast. Oh, probably breakfast, right? Very good. Yes. Um, thank you so much. Pretty good. Let me see. Okay. Now let's, let's practice. Just let me move this one really quick. Here we go. We're going to use this vocabulary that we have here on the top in this chart to complete the conversation. Uh, we have a little bit a combination of this one. That's why I love this exercise. Okay. Uh, because we have a combination of, of everything in here. Okay. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Teacher, una pregunta. Eh, este, en la palabra este, que usted dice así, beautiful, yo digo beautiful, ¿es válido decir beautiful? Y pretty. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just beautiful is a little sí. bit higher than, than pretty. Yes. So that's a pretty thing, right? But that's beautiful as a little bit, let's say, more emphatic about something, right? I don't know if you if you get that. Yes. So when you say pretty, pretty is here and beautiful is here. Yes. Okay. Sometimes I use this expression. It's the same. It's, it's the same expression. I mean, it's not the same because pretty is like bonito, right? Or bonita. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, yo digo la pronunciación. Oh, pronunciation, la pronunciation is, is... de pretty, que es bonito con beautiful, que es hermoso. Oh, yeah. Pronunciation is different. It's different, pretty and beautiful. Ana, I don't know if if if. That's... Porque este lo que pasa que yo oigo que usted dice este beautiful y yo siempre digo lo que yo le comento beautiful. Oh, okay, no, because you were mentioning okay, yes, I mean you can use both of them. It's like twenty and twenty. Yes, you can use both of okay, them. Okay, yo siempre yo siempre digo twenty. Oh yes, you can use both both pronunciations are okay. Yes. So uh sometimes I use like we can say beautiful and sometimes I want to emphasize I beautiful. So that's why I use like beautiful. Just to emphasize the expression, okay? Mm -hmm. So okay. so at the at the end uh you can use both of them. Both pronunciations are, are correct. Okay? Yes. Okay. Good question. Okay. We have Maria and Kearney. Oh, this is another Kardashian, right? Okay. So Maria and Courtney, yes. We have this vocabulary on the top and we're gonna use this one to complete this conversation. Okay, so for example, I feel tired tonight. I really don't want to cook, neither do I. Let's order out. Do you like Chinese food? It's delicious. I like it a lot. That is correct. That makes sense. Yeah. Who said that? Oh, that's, that makes sense. I like it a lot. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. I like it a lot. Okay. So, which is uh, this one, right? Yeah. Very good. <laughs> that's good. Oh, beautiful. Okay. What's the other one? 
Uh, I do. I do. I do too. Oh, yes, it's correct. There you go, right? Oh, look at that one. Okay, I do too. Okay, so very good. Um, and... My favorite kind of food. It's my favorite kind of food. Oh, oh this is it, this is easy for you? Unbelievable. Because <laughs> I thought... I thought, oh Jesus, okay. It's my favorite, favorite kind of food. My favorite <laughs> kind of food. Very good. But let's call Beijing Express for home delivery. Great idea. Their food is so always good. And I and I eat there a lot. So do I. Oh, yes. Who's saying that? So do I. That's you, Jorge? Jesus, that's very good. So do I. So do I. Yes. Well, what? What Whoa. would you like to la tonight? Oh, what yes. That's true. Like? What would? Very good. What would? Yes. What would you like tonight? Jesus Christ, it's very good. Yep. Okay, wood. What is that one? Wood. Okay. Thank you. What's next? So am I. Oh. <laughs> so am I. That is correct. So am I. Okay. And I think, and I think, orange juice. I'll. That is correct. I have. Mm -hmm. I have uh orange orange. <gasps> Jesus, orange chicken and fried rice. Jesus, oh, that's great. Okay, let's order and wait. They don't take credit cards, and I don't have any cash on me. <laughs> Neither do. Neither do I. Neither do I. Too bad. Okay, that's correct. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Give me a minute. Neither do I. Neither do I. Okay, so we have this one here and also I. Okay, so we're just missing these two. Um, too bad. What should we do? Well, let's look in the refrigerator. Um... Do you like boiled eggs? I can't stand them. Stand them. <laughs> I can't. Okay. Okay. Like stand. I can't stand them. Okay. This is like at the end of the month, right? We're feeling like this one. Actually, neither. 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 Can I? Yeah. Exactly. Very good. Yeah. Neither can I. Very good. Oh, yes. Very good. Yeah, that's not good, right? Yeah, at the end. That's not good. Yeah, the ending of this conversation, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. I was thinking about this kind of food that is Chinese food, right? With orange chicken. But at the end. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about it. Sounds terrible. Okay, a few participation. Luis, can you participate, Luis Alberto? Let me know. Teacher, one question. Oh, yeah. Uh, what is um, in, in Spanish, I can't stand then? Oh, it's like um, when you hate them a lot. When you hate something a lot that, that you can't stand that. Yeah, you, you hate that thing a lot, pretty much. I mean, maybe because uh, the flavor is, is not good. When you taste that, it's, it's not good. Or sometimes it's just a smelly thing, right? So in Spanish, it should be like, no soporto, right? And so, yeah, I can't stand that. Yeah. Sometimes we use this one, uh, Jorge, for example, when people do something negative about us, 
or when people behave in, in negative ways. So we can say, I can't stand that person. Yes. Right. So sometimes we use it like that, right? No, no support or right algae. In este case, it's about food. Yes. Uh, no tolero, right? Um, no, no paso, right? In Spanish, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, eso no. Yeah. So um, that's the way. Oh, Carlos. Thank you so much, Carlos Castro. I got you here. Thank you so much. I, I forgot. I apologize. Um, okay. So uh, let's work with, um, let me see. No, okay. Jose Alcides, can you participate, Jose? Yes or no? Tiffany, can you participate, Tiffany? Yes or no? Oh. If you want, I can't be sure. I'm sorry. Oh, please. Uh, Maria, that's you. And uh, uh, Cindy, can you participate, Cindy? No, right? No, no, it, she doesn't. It, her microphone doesn't work. Edith, thank you. You're going to be corny, okay? Ready? Let's begin. Okay. Uh, I feel tired tonight. I really don't want to cook. Carney? <laughs> oh, sorry. Neither do I. Let's order out. Do you like Chinese food? It's delicious. I like it a lot. I do too. It's my favorite. My favorite skin of food. Okay. Um... Está fallando el audio ahorita. Okay. I do. I do too. It's my favorite skin of food. Let's call Beijing Express for home delivery. Uh, favorite kind, favorite kind. Um, okay, great, great idea. Their food is always good. I eat there a lot. No, I, so do I. Well, what would you like tonight? I'm in the mood for the some soup. So am I. Um, I think it'll have orange chicken and freeze fries. Okay, let's order. Oh, wait. They don't take credit cards and I don't have any cash on me. Ne neither do I. Too bad. What should we do? Uh, well... Let's look in the refrigerator. Mm, do you like boiled eggs? I can't stand them. Uh, actually, neither can. Neither can I, sorry. Very good. Thank you so much, Luis. Also, I love the way you help your classmate, right? Favorite kind. Okay, favorite kind of food. Very good. Great job. Thank you so much. Uh, we have another one. Let me see. Marcos, you are going to be Maria. Courtney, that's going to be, let me see. Lisbeth Tolosa. Lisbeth, hello. Hello. Hola. Thank you, Lisbeth. How are you? Marcos, you are Maria, and Courtney, that is you, Lisbeth. Ready? Marcos, you I, begin. Yes. <clears throat> Sorry. I feel tired tonight. I really don't want to cook. Neither do I let or all do you like Chinese food? It's delicious. I like it a lot. I do too. It's my favorite kid of food. Let's call begin express for home delivery. Great idea. Their food is always good. I eat dirt a lot. 
So, do I well that boy? You like son, son night? I'm in the mood in the mood for some soap. So um I and I think I have orange chicken and white rice. Okay, let's order. Oh wait, they don't take credit cards, and I don't have any cash on me. Neither do I. To but what shall we do? Well, let's look in the refrigerator. Mm, and you let boiled eggs? I can't stand them. Actually, neither can I. Thank you so much. Very good. We have a few mistakes in pronunciation, right? Like neither boil. Okay, um, let me see what it is. I think that's just that one. But yeah, very good. For soup, don't forget chicken soup. There is a song that is called chicken noodle soup. Yeah, chicken noodle soup. Okay, my students, they used to uh, listen to that song. It's from a, a group that is called BTS. Yeah, that's the name of the group. And uh, it's called like chicken noodle soup, I guess. Something like that. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm sorry for that one. Uh, let's have a little bit of extra practice with vocabulary. As you may know, in this um, well, lesson, we were working with food vocabulary. Okay, so here we have a few of them. So we can practice a little bit. Just give me a minute. Here we go. Okay, here's the vocabulary. We're going to have uh, Jose Mauricio, please read the vocabulary that is on the screen. Okay. Bread, chicken, uh, chicken, chocolate, coffee, corn, chicken curry, spicy fish, french fries, fresh fruit, grapes, hamburger, noodles, octopus, uh, ice cream, Iced tea, fresh juice, lamb, mangoes, milk, onion soup, rice, salad, sandwich. Okay. Noodles, octopus, pasta, peas, apple pie, pizza, potatoes, rice, salad, sandwich, shrimp, soda, strawberries, sushi, Tea, turkey, veggie burgers. Thank you. Veggie burger, right? Very good. Thank you so much, Freddie. Yes. So how do we learn this vocabulary? Is by making sentences using the vocabulary. Yeah, that is one key that you can practice uh with this vocabulary, right? Let's let's have some examples. Daniela, give me an example with bread, please. Go ahead. Daniela, here. Hi, um, oh, an example Sorry. like like what? Like, give me an example, whatever you want to say. Just the only thing you need to do is use this vocabulary, bread, which is the first okay. one. Okay, okay. Um, I like some bread in the breakfast. Thank you. Some bread. For breakfast. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Yes. So this is one way that we can use the vocabulary. Look at this. I like some bread for breakfast. Yeah. What about chicken? Mm -hmm. Freddie, give me a sentence with chicken. Okay, I would like uh, chicken fries uh, for lunch. Oh, okay, thank you. I'd like um fry chicken, fry chicken. right? Uh, yeah, fried okay. chicken for lunch. Oh, give me a minute. 
for lunch. Okay. I like fried chicken for lunch. Yes. So this is one way that you can use the vocabulary. Okay. Uh, excuse me, teacher. Fried lleva de al final. Yes, I'm sorry. Fried chicken. Yay, thank you so much for lunch. Yes. Very good. So this is one way that you can practice the vocabulary using the vocabularies in sentences. Okay, so this one can help you to increase the vocabulary and in addition, you can improve the grammar part in here. Okay, vocabulary pretty much as you may see, we have a lot of it. Uh, maybe it's not enough vocabulary related to auditing food in English, right? Because we have a lot of them, depending on the restaurant, right? Right, we have different restaurants, uh, like, uh, but these ones are the basic. We have like a little bit of, of everything. Yes, we're gonna work with this exercise here. Give me a minute, I need to like do it like a little bit smaller. Okay, we're gonna have bland. Okay, delicious, greasy, healthy, and rich. Okay, what is, let's begin with healthy. What is vocabulary that is healthy? Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, fruit, very good. Yes, we have fruit. Uh, what else? Vegetables. Oh, your favorite, right? Vegetables, exactly. Vegetables, okay. Mm -hmm. What else we can have? Ice tea. Ice tea. Like this one. Ice tea. Like this one. Mango. Oh, mango will go with fruit. Yeah, so if we oh, have fruit, yeah, okay. so we have it there, right? What about greasy? Greasy food. French fries. Exactly right. French fries. Yes, French fries. What else? Pizza. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah, little pizza. Okay, very good. Pizza. Okay. Hamburger. That's the... Oh, pupusas. hamburgers. Exactly. Oh, pupusas, right? Pupusas, very good. Hamburger. Yeah. Um, burger. Hamburger. Oh, sorry. Hamburger. Yeah, that's greasy thing, right? So we like I don't know pasteles, uh, I don't know enchiladas, everything that somehow is delicious, like typical food for El Salvador. I love it, but somehow we gotta fry everything, yes. Uh, and also we add some pork there, that was delicious, but then nutritious. What about something rich? Mm -hmm. Here we have the difficult part, right? Something rich. What kind of food is rich? Uh huh. Bread. In my Excuse opinion, me. I guess a soup. Soup. Yeah. Okay, cause cause the meaning of rich food is like something that contains large amount of oil, uh. butter, eggs. Okay. Or cream. Okay. His cake. Oh, exactly. That kind of like like bakery stuff, right? Oh, yes. okay. okay. Exactly, right? So you tell me cake. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah, that's good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday to you. Apple okay. pie, teacher? Apple pie. No. Oh, yes. Apple pie. Yes, right. Ice cream? Oh, I oh that thing is delicious, right? Ice cream, yeah. That thing is like a lot of sugar, yeah. And everything that pretty much we got with a bunch of I don't know, extra sugar, let's say, right? Mm -hmm. What about bland food? Rice. Rice. 
Okay, very good. What else? Pasta. Pasta, let's say, very good. Mm -hmm. And what about delicious? Beef. Excuse me? Beef. Beef. Okay. Oh, that's good, right? Yeah, delicious and expensive. Jesus, it's time. Okay, I'm sorry. It's time to, to rest, okay? Enjoy the weekend. Uh, be nice and be kind. Okay. Respect. <laughs> we will see you next class on Monday. Take okay. it. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.